The characters names and events in this video are fictional, any resemblance or similarity to any actual events, entities or persons whether living or dead is entirely coincidental. This video is not a financial advice, but produced for informational and entertainment purpose only. When I was searching information for this video, which you gonna see in a moment, I asked myself when the fiscal year of the crypto market ends and starts and I failed to find an answer. I needed the exact date as I was going to analyze future events for a full fiscal of year period. I found that Hong Kong financial year runs from the first day in April and April. First is the closest day to the moment of making this video and the fact that Satoshi Nakamoto is Japanese. All of this gave me an idea to start calling the 1st of April, the date when crypto financial year begins. But we gonna talk serious. Market predictions is a tricky business and the most tricky part is the responsibility to accept the fact that your predictions are shit as they never meet the reality. I should warn you that this video is not a financial advice, what's a hack show does not take any responsibility about predictions regarding cryptocurrency, other financial markets or economy in general, but we have found a person who was delightful to agree to do it for us. Ladies and gents, please, welcome, the one and the only, mysterious Baba Vanga, the grandmother who predicts the future and takes that responsibility. Hello, dear viewers. I'm Baba Wang and today I'm going to predict what will happen with Bitcoin and crypto market in 2018 crypto fiscal year. Stay tuned. I am your host Hacker. You are watching What The Hack Show. Let's hack it up. So, Baba Vanga, let's start. Connect your magic mind to the Wi-Fi and tell us what you see. I see Bitcoin price goes above. Oh, ah, I lost the signal. Wait, I see Vitalik Buterin drinking vodka with Putin. I see more and more regulations coming on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology in 2018. This is what I see. Number one prediction is about the rising attention of the global government which will bring more regulation this year. Let's get deeper. The previous years were flagged with sort of pressure and negative coming from governmental representatives and institutions towards Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Some countries like Japan and Switzerland let them go straight away, the others reacted with some heavy or some light ban on cryptocurrency and ICO. The third group of countries watched the first and the second, analyzed the situation and already released official papers regulating many new activities, events and notions related to the new economy. Check out the previous video, where we speak about crypto hell and heaven if you want to learn more. This year I doubt that there is any country left unaware of the subject, but only a small part of them is going to agree on regulation rules in soon future. G20 summit in Argentina, which brought fresh air to the market, took away a risk that governments would go crazy and ban everything heavily. G20 members representatives are now expected to provide their recommendations by the next G20 deadline which might be set for the mid of summer. The real implementation of the new global laws will take a long way up through the beginning of 2019 and, probably, to the late 2020 or even longer. The main concern here is that many governments will apply such regulations in order to control people's money and financial streams, rather than to prevent money laundering cases or excel in fighting terrorism. It is highly probable that government actions will face resistance from citizens and even businesses if new rules miss crucial interests of the sides, such as anonymity and personal financial control in particular. So in 2018 we can expect some market pops and drops caused by rumors on upcoming decisions from some countries. 2017 proved that bad news from just one country with a decent trading volume may cause a roll down of the charts. So Baba Vanga predicts much more regulations on cryptocurrencies in 2018 globally and locally. Write down in the comments what country you are from and what is your government planning to do regarding the subject. Stay tuned to see more mysterious prediction from our today's guest, Baba Vanga. I see. I see Roger Ware is crying. Baba Vanga, do you see what made Roger Ware crying? Is it because Bitcoin Cash was finally rebranded into Bcash? No, no. I see many coins will be falling this year. 
He is crying because of the great coin fall. The big market cleanup has already started and a new wave to listing 80 coins came from the Drex. The event was followed by Dash, Monero and Zcash kicked from one Japanese exchange. This exchange was in the process of registration as an official entity and due to the revised payment services law contradicting with anonymous cryptocurrencies, the exchange had to take this move. Though this drop did not affect the charts drastically, we can still mine that risk in future. Market sanitation is a right step to keep exchanges in a good healthy state, as good traded projects and assets give more value to the business, and projects with broken blockchain or wallets must be removed. And this is the very first step, imagine Poloniex, Bitfinex, Binance start to shake off bad projects from the their listings. The market may bleed in such events. There are almost 1,600 crypto projects right now in the market due to coin market cap. So how many of them will remain on the list until the end of the year? Feel that some coins look suspicious and they deserve a delisting, write your candidates in the comments. Statistics says that only 1 out of 10 startups and new businesses survives. Applying these patterns to crypto market, we may calculate that more than 1,400 projects now listed on coin market cap may vanish within a period of 1-2 years. It is possible that only 100 to 150 from current projects will be on board in 2 to 3 years period from now. I would pay a good $1,000 to find out what coins and projects will be on that list, don't you? The consequences of a massive cleanup may be unpredictable causing deep depression and crash the market. The only consequence Baba Vanga predicts is that money from bad projects will partly flow out of the market, the other part will flow in more reliable projects that will prove their market fit and ability to survive long term. People will sell bad coins for cheap and Bitcoin may increase its market share even to 50 to 60% or the mainstream may go to the competitors such Ethereum and Ripple which in its turn may lead to some interesting competition for the top place. In 2017 we witnessed how Bitcoin Cash first and Ripple second jumped to the third place seeding more competition among the top players of the market. What currency else may enter this competition? It may be NEO or Cardano or it may be Litecoin or Stellar. Or it may be BitConnect or it will be Bitcoin Cash again or Litecoin Cash? Or it may be Jesus Coin? Do you have any ideas what new coin can touch the third place this year? Go to the comments to check my variants I will write them down and share your ideas if you have. We may see Bitcoin struggling against Ethereum as they release new protocols and more tokens will be issued on the blockchain and even more companies will use Ethereum as a platform to transfer their business to the new rails. The Ripple team has a very ambitious plan to partner with some major banks which may lead to an interesting struggle with Ethereum and, maybe, even with Bitcoin. Not only these three projects are considered to contribute real rivalry to the market in 2018, as new projects from the top 100 may get closer to the top 10 very rapidly. What project may jump that high? Here Baba Vanga's power unfortunately limits and the future is still unclear. But you better get ready for the next prediction. Baba Vanga, do you see something weird or interesting? I see some people acting like they are the cleverest and the rest are fools. I see BitConnect founders. I see court. I see a judge. I see. Ah. The signal is lost. I need to update my spiritual node. But what is clear that more scams will be revealed in 2018 and very soon. BitConnect project is obviously a scam project, though it is still existing and listed on CoinMarketCap. Project promoters has become memes in the crypto market, founders are sued by the US government, as thousands of lawsuits were filed. There are more cases being investigated by SEC, so any day they can reveal information about new scammy companies which may be one of the projects you have invested in. Ha ha ha, I'm joking. But do your due diligence. Recently a hardware company offering cloud mining services Noes Genesis Mining was accused by some users in unfair play. Some users suspected that the company business model is not very solid and the offered conditions are not profitable for its users. 
Genesis Mining applies high fees to deal with leased hardware on certain type of contracts which may take such partnership financially profitless for users. Although the rumor turned out to be a rumor, but the pressure flying around shows that crypto community is becoming for suspicious about projects and more conscious when choosing a project to invest. I see some legit to the first view projects will be revealed as scam or having no feasible and solid business model behind, but I do not see the names of these projects. But it is not be cash certainly. Sorry, Bitcoin Cash. It is not Bitcoin Cash. <laughs>The recent hack of CoinCheck Exchange turned into 534 million US dollar loss in Zam coins, NEM project currency. The inspection revealed that the blame is on the exchange but not on the tech team behind the project. The hack happened because of low security measures taken by the exchange as they kept big amount of coins on hot wallets. Another recent case with the biggest cryptocurrency and tokens exchange Binance suspected in being hacked so they had to terminate withdrawals. The hack did not actually happen in terms of technical leak or problems, but the exchange and its users were attacked by hackers who used stolen users' accounts to manipulate some prices and withdraw funds. However, Binance reassured its users by reversing all suspicious transactions. Despite the fact Binance was not technically hacked, we should not neglect the possible future hacks on exchanges and services. I bet that thousands of security engineers are pushing their brain to the limits to improve security measures, while thousands of hackers are trying to find bugs or to hack those security systems. We can definitely expect more serious hacks or hacking attempts this year and the security topic will remain in trends for the next 2-3 years until the market gets some solid security solutions. Baba Vanga, do you have any predictions more? 5 is enough for now. I have to leave for another session at British Parliament. I see there is a woman going to do crazy stuff, so I need to stop her. Guys, that was pleasure for me. If you want to see me in the next videos on what the hack show, please, write it in the comments. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Well, that was a tremendous session, Baba Vanga. Thank you very much. I am personally very excited about these predictions. 2018 is expected to be very positive for cryptocurrency market in general, but we might see more turbulence and volatility with new highs and new records in price. Sign up for our YouTube channel or join our Telegram channel to keep up with the fresh content. That's it for now. Subscribe, leave a comment and Don't get hacked. 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 Leave a comment and don't get hacked, 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 leave a comment and Don't get hacked